Good evening. Um, I'm back with a word. Something that's been on my heart. And this word is concerning uh, false prophets. There are so many. And so many of the Most High's people are being deceived by them. Now, the scripture tells us how will you know a false prophet. The word tells us you'll know when what they say don't come to pass. Now they send you by. If they sent by God, the, their word will, will come to pass because they're speaking the mouth of God. So if the word ain't coming to pass, in your life, none of them. Who are they speaking for? Whose mouth are they being? Now, you have to try the spirit to see whether it is of God. Use your discernment. Pray, thank you to God. And you gotta be careful of who you let speak into your life. Because you let the wrong person speak into your life or speak over you and what they say can happen. So we, it's imperative that we be careful. Now, the ones in particular that have been bothering me, that, that I consider a crime against humanity, are the ones that are for profit. Prophets that are profit, profit, prophets that are for profit. <laughs> okay. Um, I want to. I want you to, when you get a chance, if you have your Bible with you. And I'm, I'm sitting outside, sir. And I'm in Texas, and it is very humid here. So, excuse me if I can listen while I'm talking. But, Michael. This is a word, this is a scripture that the most I led me to. And it's been a couple of months ago he showed me this, but it hasn't left me. And it's Michael chapter 2, verse 1. And it says, Woe to them that devise iniquities, iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning it's light. They practice it because it is in the power of their hands. Now, what you think Prophet Cousin Michael was talking about? He talking about them cell phones. He talking about the false ones who, who laying in bed at night trying to think of how to come up with something some kind of way where they can make money off of you. They can come up off of you. I'm trying to think of something that they can charge you for. But then attach God's name to. Attach the brand of God to it. And when I say brand, I'm talking about king. They, they'll say they doing kingdom work. That is for the kingdom. <sighs> I 
And it says they practice it. You see, they keep doing it. They keep doing it. In the mornings, they can't wait for you to get up and take advantage of you. Because they know that, for one, a lot of people, when they get up, what they do, reach for their phone, see what they miss while they've been asleep. But it says that because it is in the power of their hand. These cell phones have power. So much so to where what I'm saying right now in Texas can be listened to on the other side of the world. What I'm saying and speaking right now can be listen to on another continent by another stranger that don't and, and we don't even have to speak the same language but it can be transcribed to where they'll understand this power this power to reach the masses I have one more scripture And it is, I'm trying to read my Bible, it's behind my phone, so excuse me, while I lean a little bit. Uh, Michael, chapter 3, verse 11. The heads thereof, let's see, excuse me, judge for reward, and the priest thereof, teach for hire. Prophets thereof divine for money. Yet would they lean upon the Lord and say, Is not the Lord among us? None evil can come upon us. Hmm. That's the word. Say. They're doing it for reward. They want money from you. They're trying to peel for God's people. Peel for the pockets of God's people. And then like I said, let's say the prophets divine for money. Listen, let me tell you, I want you to realize something. When you have to pay somebody money to give you a word from God, it's not a word from God. You're paying for a word, all right, but it ain't from God. You dabbling in divination. So... I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. If you out here and, and, and you paying to have these one-on-ones because you want a word, you dabbling in divination. You dabbling in fortune telling. You are consulting familiar spirits. Now one time in the Bible did Jesus, Yeshua HaMashiach, charge anybody for a word, for a healing, for a deliverance. He did not charge. He said freely you have been given Freely you have received, so freely give. Now, this is just an atrocity and a travesty being committed. With, with God's people. He, his word says, my people suffer for lack of knowledge.
because you don't know. Why? Why you don't know? Because for one, you ain't in your Bible. You're not reading your word. You're not praying asking for understanding. You're not asking God to hide that word in your heart that you might not sin against Him. You're not asking. You're not asking for your discernment to be heightened. You're not asking God if, if this is of you. Show me. coming up we never heard nothing about no life coach okay this is a new thing this life coaching stuff uh, back in my days they called them motivational speakers now they got paid to go around and, and, and encourage people and, and I'm not saying like that ain't wrong because you not when you not co-signing God to you know, uh, but be careful. Be careful because somebody that's really sent by God is not gonna charge you to tell you what does said the Lord. You know why? Because your blood is on their hands. If they don't tell you. And a real prophet will know. I answer to God. And not to man. So be careful. Okay. I pray that. This word has blessed you. And that you just think on these things. You know, we are, when you are truly a child of God, you don't, real to, they, it says that. God loves that you're forgiven. And so, his children know this. And, and, and we want to please him. And so we give from a, a grateful heart. We give from a cheerful heart. It pleases us to make him happy. We want him to be pleased with us. So we give from our hearts. That's what real children of God do. But the world has people in it that will try to take advantage of good-hearted, cheerful-hearted, cheerful givers, children of God. So be careful, children of God, children of the Most High. Because you have real love in you, and they are, you are real givers. And there are some real takers out here, too. And they are, there are some who don't even really need it, but they, but they still gonna take it because they have the spirit of greed on them. And I, I say all that to say, this too that ministers evangelists prophets teachers you know kingdom builders just the alone <laughs> if you are walking by faith walking in the spirit Walking by the Spirit and, and not fulfilling the lust of the flesh, you gonna reap the Spirit.
and those that worship God worship Him in spirit and in truth. And the truth is that God will put it on the hearts of His people to bless you. You know why? Because He automatically know your needs. He know you need something, and He'll provide. You ain't got to get on here and beg people. You ain't got to pill for people, people for profit. So, I'm not, I'm not worried about being popular. I'm just more concerned with God's people knowing the truth. not being taken advantage of. So, I thank you for listening today. And I thank God for blessing me to speak to you. Okay, I'll be back. Until next time, take care.